Hey guys, Malcolm here, mobile developer at Clearblade, and welcome back to my blog, Class Act Creations. And today we're going to do a tutorial on implementing Dojo Toolkit with an IBM Work Like mobile app. Uh, up until this point, all of our demos have been using a single HTML page, but now we want to create an app with multiple pages, and Dojo Toolkit makes this really easy and flexible. So let's go ahead and start and create a new work like project. We're going to call it Dojo Demo Project. Make sure you click this Add Dojo Toolkit. If you don't have a Dojo installation into your development environment, leave me a comment and I'll create a tutorial video on that. But we're not going to get into installing Dojo today. We're going to get into the app. So let's just call it Dojo Demo App. Alright, it brings up the application descriptor by default. We don't need that right now. Let's dive into the HTML. Go into your project and go apps common. Alright, let's switch to the source view for a second. Now let's just clear out um, all the junk here. It looks like we have the same thing twice, uh, which we don't need that twice. Let's just get rid of that. And let's also clean up the automatically created stuff for us. And make sure you have this WL client init. We went over this in the last video. It allows you to do the direct updates and the push notifications. So now I usually make it a habit to put that in all my apps. All right, so let's get the workspace together. Um, we're going to do a split view vertical. And for the device, let's just use standard. And uh, you'll notice we now have this Dojo mobile widgets here since we included the Dojo toolkit. And let's make sure we have properties and mobile um, and the mobile navigation. If you don't have any of these or missing one or two, just go window, show view other. You can find properties under general property and you can find the mobile navigation under web mobile navigation. So now that we have all those together, let's get to using Dojo Toolkit to create our app with multiple pages. Now we can drag and drop a lot of elements, but I'm going to do a mixture of dragging and dropping and also editing the code directly. So let's start off just by dragging and dropping a view into the body of our app. We don't have to name it. Let's just include a heading, call it clear blade dojo demo. Now you'll see why I decided to use the standard view because when we do iPhone it's kind of hard to it's okay but it zooms out so much I just want to see the elements we're adding and see them up close so standard's good for that kind of zooms it in nice and keeps everything in perspective so we're going to be dragging and dropping again uh, let's go and get a tab bar I'm going to use this for navigation and make sure you insert the tab bar below the heading. So kind of move it around until you see below heading. Oh, there we go. Add it below the heading and let's change the label. This is the first tab. We're going to call it about team. And let's add another tab and we can just click on our first about team tab and go here. It says insert actor. Double click that. Let's edit it the tab. And we're going to call it team pics. I want to show some pictures of the team. All right. So now that we have that, 
we're going to go and create a view. Now we could just drag and drop a view here, but like I said, we're going to do a mixture of coding as well. So let's just come over here and create a new view, which we're going to call the about page. So just create a div data dojo type equals dojo x mobile it's going to be a view let's give it an id switch the source you can see this a bit better uh, let's give it an id of about page data dojo and what this is doing is creating uh, this item as selected first so this to be our our default tab that will be selected when we start the app all right not an extra all right that's good save it and you'll know it worked out um, not because you'll see it here, but because it'll populate down here under view. So you know we have the about page and it's selected by default. That's because we set the selected equal to true. So let's create a second page where we'll hold the team picks. And I'm just going to do a quick copy and paste. Now we can't have two default, select default selected pages, but we're going to make that one false. And then we're going to call this one the picks page. All right, so let's go back to split. And in a minute here, there we go, picks page just showed up. Perfect. So now we have the picks page and the about page. Let's look at the picks page, the about page. It's clear, there's nothing there. Same thing with the picks page, nothing there. And you'll see this eye, it'll show you which page you're looking at. So we're looking at the about page. Now, we created this tab view just for our navigation. So let's drag the view onto the button and link mobile view. And let's do the same thing for the picks page. Drag the picks page view onto the team picks button and link mobile view. All right. Now, I remember telling you that we're going to use the Dojo toolkit to get fancy. So Let's get a little fancy here. Click on the about button and go to Dojo. And we can see that once we click the about button, it's gonna to go to the about page. But let's add a transition. We can add many transitions, slide, fade, flip. For this one, we're gonna just add a fade. And for team picks, let's add the slide. And let's take it a bit further and add an icon to our button. We can do this just by have some pre-created um, icons here. And we're going to just drag them into the images directory. Now we can come here and add an icon for our about. Now you'll notice whenever I drag those in there, you didn't really see anything. That's because the icons are white. Uh, so once we add them in here, you'll be able to see what they look like. So we're going to add this action about icon. And you'll see it shows up there. So it looks, it looks a bit more uh, believable and fancy. So uh, let's go to team picks. And we're going to add our picks icon here. Let's go to it. Let's navigate to it. And picture. All right. So start a little bit more cool um, let's lower this a little bit so there's Mac <laughs> so let's go here so now let's go ahead and edit our pages so on the about page let's click that we don't have anything so let's go here and just create something simple and we'll just put clear blade rocks now let's go to our team picks page and 
add some picks. Now we don't have any picks yet, so let's go ahead and get the picks first. You kind of you probably saw these last time when I was in this directory. Let's get all our team picks. And let's add them to images. Alright, so we have all our images in the workspace. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and add them in our team picks page. All right, so now we're working with the picks page. And let's just add them. Images, let's add me first. Add Aaron. And let's add Mac. Running out of page space, so let's go to the next line. Well, we'll add Andy. Let's add our UI expert. And last but not least, let's add Corbin. Oh, we must have some type of typo. Uh, Oh, let me just. <clears throat> okay, so we're all done with the team there. Um, so we have our about page, and we have our picks page. So let's go ahead and start the work light server. All right, now let's create some environments. We're gonna do iPhone and Android again. Let that finish. Okay, so I know we built the Android and the iPhone version. I'm just gonna test the iPhone version uh, because it takes the Android emulator just so long to get up and running. Uh, I don't wanna to commit to waiting for it. So, like I said, in its defense, it does emulate the hardware of the actual device. So, that's why it takes so long. You just click play. So we have our 
Dojo Demo app. We have our team picks and our about section. And notice when we hit team picks, it slides. And when we click about, it fades. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for visiting.